Hi everybody, Simon Makes Up Craft, thank you for watching my video today. We're going to be taking a look inside kit number five from the Paper Craft Society. So this one dropped through my door and I've been itching to look inside. I do have a slight idea and you'll see why in a moment, but anybody that's not aware of what the Paper Craft Society is, it's a monthly uh, paper craft kit that you can subscribe to. You can subscribe month to month, you can do quarterly, six monthly or yearly. I think if you do yearly and six monthly, and probably quarterly as well, it works out slightly cheaper per box than if you were to just do it month by month. But it's a beautiful box and you can see here, every one that comes through is slightly different and the colors and the patterns on the outside are an indication of what's to come inside. So you get a nice Velcro opening and this one here is time to make the magic happen, let's craft. And this is from Ruth. So you get your envelope which is the the best part I say and then I did like I said had a little peek inside I'm just going to take out that piece there and then pop the box to one side okay so here is the envelopes this is what you get in every single box and on the side it will say paper craft society this one says box five and it's by Ruth and Mackie McCartan so let's have a little look again nice velcro fastening and then you have your dies, your stamps, and any kind of like stencils or templates and your embellishments and things like that is usually in here, like toppers and things. So first of all, we've got the stamp set. Now I did do some inspiration for the booklet. So I was asked to use the stamps and they're really lovely to color because they were more of a block stamp. So there's not too much detail in them. You can see here, you've got that lovely champagne bottle and the glass there of champagne next to it. The sentiments are nice because they are, again, they're, um, what's the word, a, well, block, so you can colour them inside. You can see there just the outer um, edges of each letter and then you can yeah, colour inside. You've got some flowers there, love the bow. It's a really nice size bow and the tie. You've got a necklace, piece of birthday cake, lovely tid cake there as well and you've got the pocket as well because there is a nod towards more of the masculine cards in this one which I think is really good because it's something that there isn't a lot out there in terms of inspiration I don't think so to have a whole kit that has a lot of inspiration for it however there is also inspiration for you know anybody really so it's, it's a good one. So that's your A5 stamp set and then you've also got two pieces of acetate here if you'd seen the unboxings or any of the inspiration already, because it does, you know, they do kind of tease you on their social media channel, you would have seen some of the boxes. So here we have a, so this is a die cut sheet of toppers and just embellishments. So again, you've got the champagne glass there, you're a star, you've got them toasting there, celebration, surprise, and then like streamers, balloons, another champagne bottle, stars and all these other little hearts and things like that so again really nice it's a nice thick cardstock as well and then in that same pocket you have your die so I always like to put mine onto a magnetic sheet I haven't got around to doing this one yet but one of the main cards that you can make with this is a pop-up tuxedo fold card and this is the die that will cut it for you so it's a really nice size to do so I've actually made these cards without the tip without a die and um, you know you can do it but because you're working on angles sometimes and you've got to get your points lined up you know it, it can not always have the perfect finish so when you've got a die you're certainly going to get that so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to using the die because that wasn't one of the cards that I was asked to do because we usually get given a brief and they'd like us to focus on certain ones so I'm just going to close that there because I've just noticed that there's a glare I'll take the plastic off in a minute but it shouldn't be too much of a problem um, and you've got balloons nice big size balloons here the stars flowers and it's all those same kind of images that you've got here which they've then done in the dies as well. And you've got sentiments that say time to, and then it says party and celebrate, so you can choose. Um, and then you've also got you, so you can have celebrate you, which is nice. And then you've even got like the stamen detail there for inside the flower. So there's lots of bits. And this was nice, because I did use this. This tiny die here, you actually put towards like the top left of the balloon. And then when you die cut it, it will cut that shape out. And then if you die cut another balloon in white and put it behind it, you'll get that white come through and it looks like a highlight and it gives the balloon a dimension without it actually really having it. So it's a nice little addition, I did like that. Okay, then down here we have a template here. So this is to do a pop-up box card. So you have a tuxedo style pop-up box. You've also got a standard pop-up box. Again, I'm aware that this is, let's pop it onto, 
<laughs> that's fine let's take some of the paper out and then i can show you so let's do the papers while now i've got them out look at the colors they were great really did enjoy them it's so different to what i've got and uh, I just, I think they're really, really nice. So you've got stars, stripes, you've got some swirls and then like a zigzag kind of chevron kind of effect there. But if I just put this against that there, it's a bit better. But you can see these lines. So this is your template. So you draw these lines and that would be your score lines. This is for another pop out feature again. And then it's even got your tab pieces here. You can just make them out. But all the instructions and everything are all inside the booklet, which I will show you in a moment. So that is everything in your envelope. And then inside the tissue paper, I always keep my tissue paper, we've got these bits here. So I'm going to take this out. So we have some ribbon. So it's like a silver satin ribbon, which is nice. These are beautiful. I did get to use these ones. These are circular, really dimensional. You can see they're really raised. And then these ones here are more flat, but they're faceted. So again, they catch the light. Really, really pretty. Then you get your ink cubes. So we've got a deep navy and like a, a wine orangey, more of a, I guess it's kind of like terracotta. And then you have your card here. So this one is an adhesives guide. So this is quite handy because we've not, we always get a different guide. So some's got like your mat sizes, some's card sizes. So this one's adhesive guide, a simple guide to the glues to use in your projects. And then it just basically tells you then which ones that they, they recommend to use on different surfaces and fabrics. That's that one. Then you get your card stock. So you've got your paper and this is now your card. So let's have a little look. You know, we've got two in that kind of terracotta. We've got two in the blue or navy, it's a beautiful color. And then we've got two in white. So you've got eight pieces of A5 thick cardstock there. Really lovely. And then we have our booklet. So, okay, so here is Ruth. And then inside you have a welcome, you have your contents, and then you have a five minute interview with Ruth. And then what's in the box? Oh, it looks like there's two of those because I didn't take them out of the plastic. So you get two of those um, topper pieces there as well. But that's one thing I will say. I think they're pretty generous with what you get inside the kits. So here we have for the boys. So this is the tuxedo style card. So anybody that's not, you know, kind of familiar with this style, it's a great box shape and it folds flat as well. So you can fit it into an envelope. But you can see here the stars. You can see there like the party swells, the balloons you know, all those cuts, pre die cuts and things. Really fun and those colours are just so, they just really pop. And then you've got step-by-step -step there pictures on how to put everything together. These ones I really love and I'm gonna go and do some of these myself. So this is You Wear It Well. And these are dimensional makes for men inspired by the tuxedo box concept. So I imagine, yeah, this whole black side piece here looks like if i just grab it it looks like one side of like the die so whether they've used that as maybe just like a template um and then that's folded over yeah it wouldn't surprise me if that's what's happened there and then you can kind of fold it so um like i said the inspiration i think is very good this one i love i think that's brilliant really like right down to the it's like a double breasted jacket there with the four buttons so i think that's really cool and even the way that the ties are stamped um on that that card there as well I think it's really cool and then we've got close-ups so it does show you how to make it stamp the bow tie onto white die cut one tuxedo panel card panel and trim from the bottom so it is yeah isn't that clever so it just shows you different ways to use the the dies and then that's that one and then this is one of the ones that I done so this was just they wanted me to just do an and they wanted me to work with the the stamp as being the main focus so I colored it using the inks and then I just brought in the yellow was just one of my own. But um, yeah, I just used that terracotta colour there. Stamped the stars. Used the acetate to create an art shape. And I show you how to do that. But again, I just really like colouring that. But you colour that in pinks and, you know, yellows and purples. And, you know, you can start to bring more of a feminine touch to it as well. And then this was another one I done. So this was the pop-up card using that pop-up mechanism that I showed you. And I just die cut um, or stamped you know a few of those bottles and the balloons and just had a real nice pop-up of bottles and I just thought it was really fun yeah I just really like it and then you've got the surprise there 
and it's got a nice front as well so if you didn't want to keep it displayed open even when it's closed you've just got that little cluster there and I use the stars and things like that but again it shows you how to do that with the supplies and then this is that box one so this is that template so you'll create this style and then again it shows you how to do it and then other things that you can do so it's another version using the flowers to use that tuxedo and then that's the stamped flowers to create an easel card then you've got quick makes. I really like the quick makes. And this is that white. So you would think that that there has just been drawn in with maybe like a paint pen, but it's not. It's that tiny die that's been die cut on the yellow and then the balloon's been die cut again in white and just stuck behind it. I really like that little feature. It's those tiny little details that I really do enjoy. And then you can see the pocket there, just using the stars and even with the, the, the bow there, because although it's a bow tie, it can, you know, again, colour it in in, you know, more feminine colours and you've got a nice bow to put on anything you want. It's just a nice embellishment. And then craft stash top picks for masculine makes. So again, if that's something that you make a lot of and you struggle, then they've got some ideas for you. And then this one I really like as well. And this is by Nikki. I love the way she's done the balloons there and used the white that was the cardstock as a, as a natural highlight. So just by using those ink cube colours she's just not gone right into the middle but it actually makes the balloons look like the lights hitting them I just think it's really clever again they're really nice with the little cluster and she's done that as an open so it's a gatefold um, I wonder what she's actually called that one hasn't got a particular name I don't think Nikki just looks at techniques that you can use the two hybrid ink pads in the month's box so I, I do I really like that style and then here, so this is by Carol, really fun, I like that style. So it's like a concertina, um, it doesn't really say again the, the, what that kind of fold is, but it's a concertina style fold. And this is a teenage style birthday card. I think they've nailed it, I think that really would work really, really well. And again, I love that when it's folded, that's the effect that you get. Cool. And then top five products, my scoreboard. I've got that one, love the glue. I've got a very similar stamping platform and I've got the Gemini, so I agree with you, Ruth. <laughs> and then you just finish your booklet there. Okay, so that is the contents of box five. This one's already gone out to all the subscribers. You can't actually get this one. However, saying that, they do sometimes put them on the website if they've got stocks left for individual purchase. So keep an eye out and I'll share the links below. But you do have 11 days to subscribe for the next kit and that is by the original um, kit, uh, designer which was Christina Griffiths so if you enjoyed the first one which was extremely popular and then you're going to love this one if you just love Christina's styles then you're really going to enjoy box six you can see the colours and look inside it's beautiful pastels and things like that so it's going to be yummy uh, yeah so that's everything if you want to see more of these kits now you're kind of thinking actually yeah it might be something I like I'll share my whole playlist of every single one that they've released so you can get to see all of the goodness inside and yeah decide if it's like something you want to do um yeah, go from there. Kits are great. I really like kits because I think you know where you are. You've just got the kind of certain amount of supplies and um, everything matches, which is always a good thing. So anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Bye.